subscribe the channel prostec and press the bell icon to get latest technology videos once we release more importantly the subscription to the channel is completely free friends nowadays smartphones are the need of everyone and if you want to upgrade your smartphone to some other phone then this video would help you decide what to buy and what not therefore to get this useful information watch this video completely till the end because i am going to share all info with you so you are at right place welcome friends you are watching prostec so let's get started friends so starting with the oneplus 5t device it works on android 7.1.1 nougat oxygen os and powered by 2.45 gigahertz octa core with qualcomm snapdragon 835 and adreno 540 gpu furthermore what oneplus says that oxygen os is their operating system built on android it's smooth it's minimalistic it's refined whereas oppo f5 works on android 7.1 nougat and comes with helio p23 and 2.5 gigahertz octa core and with gpu mali g72 mp12 moving on display then oneplus 5t comes in 6.01 inches with full hd optic amoled display having resolution 2160 by 1080 pixels with 401 ppi pixels density oneplus 5t is a single anodized aluminium body device comes with 2.5d corning gorilla glass 5 skin protection whereas oppo f5 is 6 inches device with ltps ips full hd display having resolution 2160p by 1080 pixels and with 402 ppi pixels density talking about the internal memory then oneplus 5t comes with two variants that is 64 and 120 gb of onboard storage and 6 or 8 gb ram but with no external micro sd support oneplus has produced this device in only two colors that is midnight black and lava red colors lava red color will only be available in china it means you will not be having gold silver or white colors options for this device moving on to oppo f5 it is available in 32 gb rom with 4 gb ram and 64 gb rom and 6 gb ram and also supports micro sd up to 256 gb 64 gb with 6 gb is available in only red color Oppo has launched this device in gold, black and red colors. If we talk about the dimension of OnePlus 5T, then it comes with 156.1 by 75 by 7.3 mm of thickness and 162 grams of weight with dual nano SIM standby support. Whereas Oppo F5 is 156.5 by 76 by 7.5 mm of thickness and 152 grams of weight with dual nano sim support about the camera then oneplus 5t comes with 16 megapixels plus 20 megapixels sony primary camera with 1.7 aperture auto focus and dual led flash 1.6x optical zoom geo tagging touch focus face detection panorama and hdr It shoot out video of 2160p at 30 frames per second, 1080p at 30 and 60 frames per second and 720p at 30 and 120 frames per second. OnePlus 5T also comes with secondary Sony camera of 16 megapixels with 2.0 aperture, 1080p video recording with auto HDR. Moving on to primary camera of Oppo F5 it is equipped with 16 megapixels primary camera with 1.6 aperture digital zoom auto flash face detection touch to focus continuous shooting you can also find geo tagging touch focus face detection panorama and hdr it shoot out videos of 1080p at 30 frames per second as well Oppo F5 also comes with secondary camera of 20 megapixels with 2.0 aperture for selfie shootouts gives you real time selfie as oppo claimed 
फिंगरप्रिंट्स वन प्लस फाइव टी कम्स विद रियर माउंटेड फिंगरप्रिंट स्कैनर विद एक्सेलोमीटर प्रॉक्सिमिटी कैंपस गायरो वाई फाई वाई फाई डायरेक्ट डी एल एन ए हॉट स्पॉट जी पी एस ब्लूटूथ एन एफ सी फेस्ट बैटरी चार्जिंग विद फाइव वोर्ड्स डैश चार्जर एंड टाइप सी रिवर्सिबल कनेक्टर इन दिस डिवाइस वॉट यू विल नॉट फाइंड इज इंफ्रा रेड पोर्ट एंड एफ एम रेडियो दिस फोन इज इक्विप्ड विद ए नॉन रिमूवेबल थ्री थाउजेंड थ्री Whereas Oppo F5 comes with fingerprint sensor on back panel of the device and comes with light sensor, proximity sensor, accelerometer and compass. This phone also comes with GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, 3.5 mm audio jack, micro USB 2.0, USB on the go, 4G VoLTE support. Oppo F5 is also equipped with 3200 mAh non-removable battery as well. So that was the quick comparison of both smartphones. You can also check further details in the description below. What do you think about these smartphones? Do let us know in the comments section below. I hope you liked this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.